Hello all, this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. Hope uh, everyone is doing great. So in this tutorial, I'm going to make this uh, mobile holder by using a sheet metal workbench. So as you can see here, this is having a uniform thickness everywhere. So it is a sheet metal component and as well as you can see here, all the sheet metal features are available over here. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this tutorial guys. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to new file and uh, now let me select a sheet metal over here okay and uh, it is should be in the mm and can just click okay so once we enter into a particular uh, sheet metal workbench so what i'll do is i'll just go to sketcher in moment on this particular plane and here i'm going to draw a simple rectangle okay so let me make a dimension for this so this is 150 mm okay and this is 200 mm Okay, and whatever this center point should lie on this point. So press C and select this coincide. And these two points should be at the same point. Okay, so now as you can see here, our sketch is fully constrained and you can just finish the sketch. So now as always, we have created a sketch and then we have created a tab. So in this tutorial also, we are going to create tab first. So which is of a thickness of 3mm and you can just click okay and now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a flange here so go to flange and i'm going to select this particular edge okay so this is a flange and we have a length of uh, 230 mm and the angle is 110 okay so this is the flange dimensions and we can just click okay okay so now what we can do is we have to create a one more flange here so go to flange again and in this time uh, this edge I'm going to select so and the length is 140 mm and the angle is 120 degree okay so you can just click okay so now as you can see here this looks uh, you know or something like a mobile holder so there are some uh, dimensions that we have missed so in the flange the bend radius should be more so we'll just go to bend radius here so it should be so it should be 10 mm so i'm going to give the 10 mm and I'll just click okay in the same way we are going to do for this flange as well so we are going into bend radius and use local value and then give 10 mm click okay okay so now uh, we have one more uh, you know uh, flange here so what i'll do is i'll just go to flange and this time i'm going to select this outer edge okay so here the length uh, is 31 mm and the angle is 102 okay yeah so the bend radius is 5 you can just click okay okay so this is how it looks okay so once this is done uh, so in the model you can see here there is a cutout here so this cutout we have to make so in order to do this cutout as you can see here this cutout is traveling from this edge blend and as well as this bend so these two bends should be made uh, you know unbend in order to have this sketch and uh, cutout so we'll go to this particular model and uh, now what i'll do is i'll just do unbend so on stationary face is this and our bend is this as well as this click ok so now as you can see here this has been unbent so now uh, on this particular uh, you know um, flange we have to create a sketch so what I'll do is I'll just go to sketch and select this particular plane click ok so here I'm going to draw a simple sketch ok one circle over here and one rectangle here and one more rectangle over here okay okay so now uh, there are some unnecessary lines here so press t in order to trim this so there are two lines which are not necessary and also you can see here these lines should be tangent to this particular uh, circles so i have made them tangent okay and also these two lines are not required okay and now uh, give the dimension hit d 
and particular this width is 25 mm which is the diameter of the circle okay and whatever this center should lie on this particular y axis press c and go to point on a curve so this point should be on this line okay okay so now let me give the dimension hit d from this center to this edge it is 300 mm okay and then whatever this distance it is 40 mm and between this point to this edge it is 10 mm okay so overall this length is 60 mm okay and now this should be made symmetric so in order to do that I'll just do press C and equal di dimension so these two should be equal dimensions okay so now you can see sketch needs zero constraints okay so this I'm going to give 12.5 mm okay so sketch is fully constrained now and we also have a fillet here so 4 mm of fillet so let me provide that 4 mm fillet hit F and give 4 mm as a value and start keep providing the edge blends sorry fillets okay so now everything is done so we can see there is one auto dimension let us make this symmetric so this point this point should be symmetric to this okay okay so now here it is 4 mm so it will be 4 mm on this side as well so now as you can see your sketch is fully constrained so we can just finish the sketch so once this is done we have to make a normal cutout so you can see here the material has been removed and you can just click ok so once this is done we have to make a rebend so go to rebend and this edge as well as this edge ok click ok so we don't need this sketch we can just switch off this sketch so now uh, we need to provide some break corners here so go to break corner and select this plane and here it is 20 mm and you can just click ok ok so now uh, as you can see here we have some more slots over here so these slots also we have to remove it by normal cutout so now what I'll do is I'll just go to sketcher and moment on this particular plane and I'll just click OK. OK, so now I'm going to do the. Now we are going to create a rectangles here. One, four rectangles. OK, so press C and uh, you can see the equal dimension, equal length. So these two should be equal length and these two should be equal length and these two should be equal length okay so they are all in equal length in the same way I'm going to do it for this one as well okay so now press C and uh, or vertical alignment so they should be vertically aligned okay so now they are everything is identical so hit D and this dimension is 100 mm okay press D from this to this y-axis it is 10 mm okay so now let us make a con symmetric so these two should be symmetric to this okay and then the distance between this to this is 20 mm okay and this width is 7.5 mm so press D this is 7.5 mm So 
So you can see here there are two dimensions that are left. So let us see what are the dimensions. So between these two again it is the uh, same distance whatever we have given here 20 mm. Okay. And then we have a distance here. So from one edge it is uh, 50 mm. So press C sorry D and between this edge it is 50 mm. Okay, so now you can see our sketch is fully constrained. So we can just finish the sketch and now go to normal cutout and remove the material and just click OK. And we can also see here there are sharp, uh, you know, edges here. We need to provide some uh, break corners. So I'm going to go to break corners and select this face. So as soon as you select face, you can see all the faces will be selected. Now hit 4mm and you can just click OK. So all the edges will be given and also we are left with uh, one more uh, break corner over here so go to break corner and select this face it should be 10 mm okay so yeah now it is done so as you can see here this is a mobile holder guys uh, from sheet metal workbench so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i'll try to answer thank you guys